Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to be trying out the Dutch oven I got for Christmas. And I thought we'd make some soup beans. So let's go ahead and make a pot of soup beans, see how that turns out. Okay guys, we're going to start off, I've got a couple ham hocks here, monkey picked these up for me, and uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to throw them both in there. Now, we have our beans here, uh, these here are navy beans, um, they're not actual uh, white soup beans. But I don't have any, but I got the navy beans, that's close. They have been soaking in water overnight. So, I'm going to put some beans in here. That is probably plenty. Add a little bit more. Okay, that's a pound, so that's probably three-fourths of a pound there. Now, I'm going to add water just until it covers the beans. I'm not sure how much it's going to take here. This is four cups here, so we're going to add a couple more cups. This is, uh, all together this was six cups, this was four cups, and I just added two more cups of water in it, okay? Now, ham hocks, you know, ham, there's already a lot of salt in ham, so if you want to salt it, that's fine, but I'm not going to salt it. What I am going to do, is I'm going to put some fresh ground pepper in here, and I will keep doing this as it cooks I will keep adding some more pepper uh, and then I'll taste it as it gets done and we'll see if it's enough a lot of people like more a lot of people like less some people don't like to put anything in it and that's fine you don't have to put ham you can put um, you can put bacon I've made it with pork chops uh, ribs uh, get creative with it it's your dish okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on high and I'm going to bring this to a boil and once it comes to a boil I'm going to turn it down on low and let it simmer for about two hours and I will check it about every 45 minutes to an hour I will check it and we'll see how it's doing make sure it's not sticking uh, I may check it a little bit more often if I find it's wanting to stick a little bit but it shouldn't but Anyway, let's bring this, get this up to a boil. Okay, so I let it come up to a boil, and then I've turned it down to a simmer. And we're going to let it simmer like this for a couple hours. Now, I'm going to check on it every so often. Make sure they're not sticking, which they're not. And I'll show you as we progress the difference in the coloring of the broth, the juices, and then when it gets done, we'll try them out and see how they taste. So stick with me and I'll be back with you and we'll check on them and see how they're coming along. Okay guys, it's been about an hour and it's just simmering. I just have it on a simmer and as you can see the color of the broth is turning that golden yellow which is what we're looking for um, it's not sticking I've been stirring it about every 20 minutes so I think we're doing good I think we're going to give it about another hour hour and 20 minutes now if you're doing this in a crock pot it's going to take 8 to 10 hours on low it's going to take um, 4 to 5 hours on high and and on the stove like this depending on how high you have your fire turned up it's going to take about two to three hours now what I like I like uh, to cook on the stove top I like cooking with gas with a flame and in the oven I like to cook with electric now this is both this is just electric both uh, the range and the oven is electric but uh, because the uh, oven you don't when it's electric and say you're baking a cake or something and you, you know you don't 
you want even heating. You don't want that, that flame, that burst of flame. Whoosh. You don't want that. Now, flames are good for like boiling water or something like that. Speaking of flames, I was going to cook this outside on the fire, but it got really, really breezy and it's been looking like it's going to rain all day now. It hasn't rained, but it is pretty windy out, so I didn't want to make a fire out in the, you know, in, in the wind like that. So we got, we got this looking pretty good. I'm going to let this simmer for another hour. Like I said, I'm going to keep stirring it about every 20, 25 minutes. So it'll get stirred, you know, two, three more times. And I'll be back with you and uh, show you again how it's coming along. Florida weather, guys. See the tractors? It's raining out back, but it's not raining out front. <laughs> Gotta love it, right? Okay, guys final check I think it's done oh yeah look at the the sauce and the meat is falling off the bone nice nice like I said I wanted to do it on the fire but how it finally did um, end up raining in the front yard too but it was just too windy today so we're going to get this is Shea Bear out here, and we're going to let her give this a try. Look at that meat falling right off the bone. So, we're going to have her taste test this, and we'll see what she thinks of it. Okay, we have our taste tester, Mrs. Shea Bear, in here. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, she's going to take a bite of this and see what she thinks of it. Be careful, it's very hot. Yes, it's steaming. Like I said, nothing fancy. All we put in it was pepper, so. Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. Get a thumbs up. Does it get a mon monkey paw up? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> Very good. Just in time. She just got home, mm -hmm. what, about a half an hour ago? Yeah. So. Yep. So yeah, we, we did that. We timed it just about right. Yeah. So it's a good thing, like I said, that uh, we didn't do it on the fire because it started raining before it was done. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode of uh, Chef Shea Bear. Hope you liked it. And uh, if you guys give us a try, let me know in the comments below how it turned out for you guys. So. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to eat now. Okay, she's going to eat, so... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Well, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now. Mike says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.